Hey, hey, now, welcome, welcome, welcome. You are listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I am your host, Lynn Richardson. It's WVON 1690 AM, the talk of Chicago, the voice of the nation, our favorite radio station. And we are creating millionaires, one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time. And that means you. We are living beyond 2020. There are so many, so many amazing things happening uh, just with folks getting um, healthier, with us getting stronger, um, with us taking a look at our finances, our businesses. Um, I am excited about this season. This is the season of the harvest. The harvest is here. The time is now. There are a few things I want you to uh, add or check off on your checklist of life and living. Um, and I want us to work on these things together. I want us to keep moving towards the prize. I say, speak what you seek until you see what you say. Let me repeat that. Speak what you seek until you see what you say. Um, I have been talking a lot about passive income streams and everything else that it's going to take for us to get to the next level. So uh, as we talk about beyond 2020, as we talk about everything that it's going to take for us to not just get back to normal, but for us to exceed what was normal, for us to create a new normal that is better, that is bigger, that is more broad, that is beautiful, um, that is that embraces uh, everything about who we are as people of color, and that gives us the ability to expand um, our gifts um, to help the world, to help others. So I want us to think about um, just a few things. One, are you looking at what you're spending right now? Um, just a, you know, a reality check. I know for me, once things started opening up, um, I was spending a little more money. I know. Let me be honest. I was spending a lot more money <laughs> than I was accustomed to spending. When I was in the house for about a year and a half, I didn't go anywhere, didn't do anything, was stacking, 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 stacking. As soon as we started going out and I didn't go out much, but I know that the going out that I did do was way more costly than the staying in, going out for business dinners. Yes, they are a tax write-off, but I'm still spending the money. Going out uh, for family vacations and business trips, as I call them. They are business trips for me. They're vacations for other people, but they are business trips for me. But just doing these things and moving through these things help me to really see, now, yes, I'm spending less money than I make. I'm spending way less money, but I was spending more money than I was used to spending. So I want everybody to just track Track what you are spending for the next um, 30 days. Track every single penny, every single dime, every single um, expense that you have. Um, don't say it's just. Uh, it's just is where all your wealth is. If you go back and add up all of your it's just for the past uh, you know, year, your it's just for the past couple of months, you'll find um, some tears there. <laughs> Because if you're worried about money and you can't sleep and your money is funny, your change is strange, then if you go look at your, it's just, it'll probably bring you to tears. So I don't want us to think it's just, I want us to own our power and I want you to just go look at it all and start to track it all today. Number two, I also want you to think about real estate. Where do you sit in the area of real estate? Are you renting right now? Um, do you own a house that's too big or too expensive? Um, is it time for you to move up into a home that is going to uh, be more fitting to your current needs, your family needs? What does that look like for you? Do not stay in the dark about real estate. I want you to go to buyahomewithlynn.info. Go to buyahomewithlynn.info. Sign up for my free class so that you can understand how to make home ownership work for you. It doesn't matter if your credit was bad. It doesn't matter if your uh, income is spotty. It doesn't matter if you uh, lack a credit score. There are people out there who have no credit score at all who do not realize that you actually have great credit when it comes to buying a home because there are things that can be done to put you in position to own. So go to buy a home with info and sign up for the free class. You can also make sure um, you have my number. You can text me your questions. You can text your home buying questions to me and you can do that um, at any uh, particular time. If you've got a question, if you're thinking of something and you're trying to figure out what uh, is your next step, then I want you to text your home buying questions to me 
at 818-651-8854, 818-651-8854. Text those questions to me now, okay? Do not stay in the dark. You can also go to that free class. So I want us to get our real estate straight. Uh, first, I want us to get that money straight. I want us to get that real estate straight. What does your estate look like right now? What does your estate look like? This is the third thing I want us to start thinking about. And I want us to add to our checklist as we are moving beyond 2020. We're moving beyond 2020. You know, COVID uh, opened a lot of our eyes in many different ways. We learned new things about ourselves and each other. What does your estate look like? There are many people who unfortunately did not make it through the pandemic who did not have their life insurance in order. They did not have their trust in order. They did not have their estate plan in order. And this is causing their families a significant, a significant amount of pain, distress. There's already grief. There's already grief associated with losing someone, but then we add financial disarray to it. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. Okay. So if you're trying to get your estate in order, just go to asklin.org. Go to asklin.org so we can get you in the right place at the right time so that you can take a look at everything you have and make sure it's going where you want it to go. All my single mothers out there beyond 2020, means that you are going to have an estate, an estate plan in place for your child. And that does not include simply naming your child as the beneficiary on your life insurance policy. As a matter of fact, that is almost the worst thing that you can do, okay? Your trust needs to be the beneficiary of your life insurance policy so those funds can be immediately distributed to your child if something happens to you. OK, if your child is listed as the beneficiary of your life insurance policy and that child is only four years old or five years old or 10 years old, then they don't get that money until they turn 18. And by that time, we have to wonder what has happened to their care during that time period. What has happened to their um, livelihood? What has happened to their activities? What has happened? There's already grief. We do not have to add financial disarray to grief. We don't have to do it. Okay. So go to asklin.org and just state your case. If you need help, if you don't have anything, if, if the only life insurance you have is on your job, you're in trouble. If the only life insurance or retirement strategy you have is on your job, then you are in trouble. Okay. So you want to keep the resources that your job is supplying, but you also want to know what to do to expand it in the event that you lose that job, you want to get the best possible coverage while you are still young and while you are still healthy. Okay, so we are living beyond 2020. It is time for us to pick up our bootstraps, to strap them on and to strap each other in and get to the next level together. The fourth thing I want you to look at is what is your investment strategy? It can start with something as, as little as $50 a month. $50 a month in your mutual fund or your 401k over 30 years, you are talking about $600 plus thousand dollars that will be put away for you if you choose the right investments. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about so many things. I have assembled um, the, some of the greatest, greatest, greatest people on this earth. And we wrote a book together called Beyond 2020, Life and Business Lessons on thriving amidst a pandemic, life and business lessons on thriving amidst a pandemic. You can get it at askland.org. And um, over, uh, you know, just over time, I'm going to get these people out to you because they are building wealth, just like you and I. Do you want to leave a legacy for your loved ones? Do you know the difference between an estate plan and a will? Are you newly engaged and concerned about getting a prenuptial agreement? Are you married to your child's mother or father? And do you know what happens to insurance money if you are not? Call your wealth counselor, Attorney Deidre Woodstokes. With over 22 years of experience, Attorney Stokes has all the answers you need 
to help you secure your family's financial future. You can find Attorney Stokes on Lynn's List at www.lynnmillionaire.com. That's www.lynnmillionaire.com or call 888-LYNN-123. That's 888-596-6123. Protect your legacy now. Welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I'm your host, Lynn Richardson, and we are creating millionaires one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time, and that means you. Okay, so we are living beyond 2020. Let me repeat myself. We're living beyond 2020. And on the Millionaire's Roundtable, I have to say that I would not be doing my job if I did not introduce you to the people who helped me make it through, and who are helping others make it through. So we got together. We wrote a book, Beyond 2020, Life and Business Lessons on Thriving Amidst a Pandemic. Not thriving after the pandemic, not thriving, you know, 10 years or 20 years later, but thriving in the middle of it. So if you can thrive in the middle of it, you can certainly thrive beyond it. So without further ado, I am bringing to the Millionaire's Roundtable, my guest, Diane Beaudry. She is not only a beautiful, wonderful executive and woman of God, but she is a member of New Wealth University. She is a, uh, a, a master financial coach trainee. She's got licenses. She's doing it. She's making it happen. But let me tell you her story. Let me tell you a little bit of what she said about her story before the pandemic. This is what she said. She said, for years... The everyday grind and hustle fueled my mornings. I had places to go, people to see, and things to do. There was never enough time to get it done. I relished in the business of it all. My morning meetings started at 5 a.m. and my nights ended at midnight. Now, I have to bring my sister Diane to the table. Welcome to the Millionaire's Roundtable, Diane. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for having me here today. It's such an honor to be with you and with your listeners. You know, I I had to stop there. There's so much more that you said and what you wrote. But mm-hmm. you sounded, you sound like me. <laughs> Except my yes. morning start at 3 a.m. <laughs> and don't end wow. until midnight. <laughs> which is absolutely, absolutely insane. So... You know, we are in, this is, this is the season of the harvest. I say the harvest is here. The time is now. And I believe that if everybody can identify their own power, you don't even necessarily have to believe in it, but if you can identify your own power, then you can start to position yourself for the things that you believe for yourself and the things that God has for you. So first, Diane, Please tell us about yourself and your business and your businesses. Oh, absolutely. Well, like you said, I am a woman who loves God, and I love life as well. I was born in Belize, very humbly raised, and uh, moved to Chicago when I was seven years old. Uh, It's there I learned a lot of life lessons about the hustle. I learned about the hustle, and you had to work hard for what you wanted in life, right? Right. So now I'm living in Houston with my wonderful husband. We have grown children that are out there doing their thing. And I have a lot of pride in the work that I do today in corporate America. Um, I'm even more excited about what I do with my clients throughout the country. So in my business, I'm an author, a motivational speaker, a literacy coach, uh, and most recently I'm also um helping folks to get their insurance in order. Yes. So it's just absolutely so rewarding to help people level up their human resources so that they can achieve their greatest potential. I also have an organization that's called the Stay Hungry Club. And not for food, Dr. Lynn. Stay Hungry is about being, being having a zest for life, having better health, better wealth, and peace of mind. Really, it's designed for ambitious women like us, you know, who want to have the most out of life that it can give and then also want to share with others what we learn. 
So in the Stay Hungry Club, folks have access to tools that they need to be the best in their careers, their businesses, and their personal mission. So it all comes back to the core of having uh, our highest potential achieved. Wow. Wow. I love that. You know what I'm so grateful for? Because, you know, I have been doing this for a long time. And when you have been called to do something and you have so many people to do it for, I feel like a needle in a haystack. I feel like I'm a little small piece of a huge universe with millions and billions of people who need to be touched. And I'm only yes. one person. But when I connect with people like you, it makes me realize that God is good. He is real. He's going to send me help and I don't have to do it all by myself. So I thank you so much. Your chapter in Beyond 2020, Life and Business Lessons on Thriving Amidst the Pandemic. The title of your chapter is It Took COVID to Open My Eyes. Let me ask you this question, yes. Diane. What are you most yes. pa- what are you most passionate about? I am most passionate about helping our people get out of unnecessary debt. Uh, we've been going way too long from generation to generation and the debt just kind of grows from one family to the next generation to the next generation. So I'm passionate about putting a halt to all of that. I would love to help folks create multiple streams of income, learn how to grow our money tax free, learn how to live off of tax free income. And then last but certainly not least is just being able to have the tools we need to build wealth for generations to come. So not just, not just like building the wealth, but also teaching them and showing them what that mindset looks like so that they can then pass that on, that knowledge on and the wealth on to the generations that will follow. So I'm extremely passionate about sharing that. So, you know, we connected during the pandemic. We were um, on lockdown, lock down, yes, lock right. in, shut in, <laughs> quarantine. You know, I don't, I never even imagined that I would be, I would have to stay in my house. What was it no. about the message that you heard that inspired you to get connected and stay connected? And I know this is maybe a little bit outside of the question, but what was it for you? To get connected and stay connected. Um, I was I was listening to this little birdie on my shoulder. I was telling me all of these negative messages, like I'm never going to be able to make it out of this pandemic. Um, you're not going. You don't have enough money. You don't have. You're, you're you may lose your job. Your husband might lose your job. What his job? What are you going to do with with you know nothing? Um, are you ready for it? So as all of these negative messages were coming in, and I just decided to take take matters into my own hands and just start researching and seeing what kind of resources were out there, which is when I came across New Wealth University and started to take the classes. And I saw that there, it really doesn't have to be this way, that we really could change the trajectory. So it was just listening to those, to those voices in my head and having the fear as to what could potentially happen if this pandemic were, were to go on too much longer. So you, you wrote a very powerful message and you talked about being basically a wonder woman, which is something that I know I can relate to. And many women can relate to you. What mm-hmm. inspired you to write about this specific lesson? Because you were, you know, again, up at 5 a.m., sleep at midnight, never enough to do. Right. What's driving, driving, driving? What inspired you? I would say I had to listen to God and just shut it all down. Just shut it down. You know, it was just like I was caught up in the busyness of everything. And I could not appreciate what I had right there in front of me. Woo. I didn't even realize um, I, it's like I had to learn my husband all over again. Oh and my God. We learned about what, <laughs> what caused us to fall in love in the first place because I was gone so many days out of the week traveling. I had to get to know my home all over again, my family, my, my neighborhood. I was like really appreciating every little thing because I wasn't in somebody's airport, somebody's hotel, you know, 
um, somebody's boardroom meeting. It was it was really a time for serenity and peace and appreciation of everything that was around me. Oh my God, girl, you Which are preaching beautiful. to the choir. You now you know you have convicted me right in this moment. <laughs> I'm like, oh Jesus, I had to learn who my husband was, where I lived, what the <laughs> right. like all that stuff, what my place looked like. Thank you, God, for the pandemic. I am not thanking him for the deaths. I know that there are many people who have suffered. I, I And I, too, exactly. my, my godmother lost her life and so on and so forth. But I'm thanking him for the opportunity to slow down. You know what? We have so mm-hmm. much more to learn from you. We have so much lo- more to learn from you. So we're going to ask some more. Right, We're going to ask some more questions right after the break. Don't turn right that dial. W-V-O-N. Lynn Richardson is a celebrity financial coach and founder of the 700 Credit Club. Lynn wants to talk to you about one of the biggest issues that can separate you from your financial freedom, and that's your credit score. Lynn overcame two bankruptcies and foreclosure, but with this plan, her score is now over 700, and she's inviting you to join the 700 Credit Club today. Here, you'll learn to build your credit and have the financial freedom you dreamed of. For more information about the 700 Credit Club, please visit lynnrichardson.com. You're listening to the Millionaires Roundtable. I'm your host, Lynn Richardson, and we are creating millionaires one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time, and that means you. Okay, I've got Diane Beaudry. She is an executive. She's a life coach, a financial coach, and she made it beyond 2020, and she is one of my fellow co-contributors, sisters, authors, and you all know I don't just deal with anybody. If I deal with somebody, it's because they are the real, okay? Uh, Can anybody say Attorney Deidre Wistos? Can anybody say Curtis Monday? Can anybody say, you know, all the people that I have associated myself with are people who I know, one, have the love of God, and two, have the heart for you. And so um, it gives me Great, great pleasure to continue to talk to you, my sister, Diane, about uh, what motivated you during the pandemic and really what elevated you during the pandemic. Because I think, you know, we think about the pandemic as a time where so many things happened to us that we could not control and so on and so forth. And I believe that coming out of the pandemic you will either be a millionaire, a billionaire, or a witness. It all depends on which lane you put yourself in. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So can you tell me who would benefit? And, and going back, your message, it took COVID to open my eyes. And you talked about mm-hmm. being on the road, moving. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is me. And I did it for so long, Diane. You know, my mm-hmm. husband and I had an arrangement. You know, he combed the girls hair. Uh, He and his mom, my mom got the kids to chilling and practice. I knew at some point now I did all of that for a a certain amount of time. But then I was like, we got somewhere to be. And I'm the one to get us there. And I don't have time to be crying and sitting up here complaining about who going to do it. God told me, Lynn Richardson, you can do it. So go do it. So that's what I did. I did it. And then I was in it. So tell me who would benefit most from your message? Well, I will tell you, anyone and everyone would benefit from reading the story, but it's going to be especially helpful to those who didn't have enough money to make it through, or if they had the fear of not having enough to make it through. There were a lot of folks who lost their jobs. They were laid off. They were furloughed. Um, A lot of folks had medical bills to come up because of COVID. They weren't anticipating that. And maybe health insurance just didn't cover a whole lot, right? So for those folks that maybe thought that they were prepared for anything that came their way financially, but didn't realize until this pandemic hit that there was no way they would have would be ready, those people would benefit. And then for the folks that really thought that everything would be okay, and it was, there is somebody in your life who's experiencing some type of hardship from the pandemic. You can share with them that lesson that's coming through in the story. It would benefit them tremendously to learn what they can do, what we can all do so that when the next disaster hits, we're ready for it. And we don't have to be living in fear or, or fear for our loved ones making it through. So 
that that's basically just about everyone that would benefit. Wow. Um, let me just ask you this also. Mm-hmm. What would you say is the single most important lesson that you've learned in the pandemic? Now that you have, I guess we've kind of moved through it to a certain degree, although we know it's still here. What's the single most important lesson that you have learned that you believe others can adopt for themselves? Number one is to trust in God. Uh, there's a saying that you have, Dr. Lynn, I'd absolutely love. If, if God brought you to it, he will take you through it. So the first thing is is absolutely to have trust and faith that you will survive and not um, feel like you're left alone. Once you're past that getting over that fear, it's that we have it within us to learn the lessons on how we can best equip ourselves financially to be prepared for instances like this so that we can really focus on what matters the most. And that's our family, our loved ones, um, and those who mean the world to us. But you cannot spend time with them um, and love on them when we live in it, when our, when our head is in a state of fear and anxiety. So take it upon yourself to own your financial state and do something about it. Now go to class, apply the lesson and get prepared because this will not be the last thing that, that has happened. Oh, you just said it. This will not be the last thing. This Mm -hmm. is this. I think this is a test and a lesson for everybody. And if you can pass this test, you can pass any test. You can pass any of it. Yes. If you hear. And that's the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you are here, it means you can pass the test because we don't know what's coming in 2025 or 2030 or 2050. I plan on being I... here to at least 2090, which will make me 120 years old. Okay. That's what I plan on being here. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all can laugh if y'all want to, but I will, I will send you the news uh, flash when I get there. But if we've got, because here's what happens, Diane, lots of people think I'm 30 years old. I messed up. Mm -hmm. I'm 40 years Mm -hmm. old. I messed up. I'm 50 years old. I messed up. I'm 60 years Mm -hmm. old. I messed up. What y'all don't realize is. The first 20, and for most people, 30 years of your life don't even count. So if you're 60, and if your life expectancy is 90, you still got another 30 years to make it right. Mm -hmm. If you're 50, and your life expectancy is 90, you got 40 years. Can you think about 40 years? Look at your last 40 years. Ten of them, you weren't even an adult. So you don't even, that part don't even count. So what happens to us, Diane, is we think I'm 40, Mm -hmm. and we start to count the part of our life that don't even count. The first 20 years don't count because you ain't had no control. Doesn't matter. Right. (laughs) You were a kid. Mm Mm-hmm. Then you got 20, and you did not get a rule book. So from 20 to 30, don't count. So if you're 40, really, you only had 10 years of real experience. So now if you're 50, you can take that and move with it. And I just think we need to give ourselves some credit. We need to give ourselves some lenience. And we need to give ourselves, Ephesians 3 and 20 says, God will bless you exceedingly and abundantly, more than you can ever ask, according to his power at work in you. That means the power got to work. And if you are that's right, lamenting and regretting and beating yourself up over the mistakes you made during the time when you weren't even real, you weren't even real. <laughs> Diane, I was not real when I was living Chakamande. I was a baby. Yes. I was a baby fool. Sorry. That's not who I am. So what I get to do is 
look at that and now live the life that God has given me. So I'm just so thankful for you. I'm so sorry that I went off on a, a tangent in my little sermon. Here's what I want to know so from good. you. It's so true, though. <laughs> What we was to hear it. so so you wrote this chapter in Beyond 2020 for everybody who wants to get it? You can go to uh, give us your website, Diane. It is www.dianeboudry.com. And if I can spell that, that's D I A N N E B O W D A R Y dot com. Go to Diane com. Sync your life with Denise Wiggins and Lip Sync Cosmetics. Do you need extra cash? Want to start a home-based business known around the globe? Do you want to join a sisterhood that is growing by leaps and bounds? Then become a Lip Sync Cosmetic Ambassador. Visit www.lipsyncosmetics.com. That's www.lipsync cosmetics.com and submit your ambassador application today. Welcome back. You're listening to the Millionaire's Roundtable. I'm your host, Lynn Richardson, and we are creating millionaires one family at a time, one day at a time, one dollar at a time, and one dime at a time, and that means you. Okay, so, you know, over the weekend, we had these deaths. The, the people at the Astro World, Travis, let me tell you something, child. I don't know who nobody is. Like I tell you, if your name ain't Michael Jackson, uh, Prince, uh, Melody Spann, Lynn Richardson, MC Light, or Diane Baldry, I don't know who you are. So I have a hard time understanding what all of this is. But what I do know is I saw the video of the people who were, had to walk into the concert, and you literally had to walk through this little thing that they created. It was the mouth, and it looked evil. Don't walk into an evil mouth, people. Diane, help us. We're trying to live beyond 2020. I tell you, it was such a huge tragedy. Um, The victims were age 14, 16. There were three who were 21 years old, two folks who were 23, and a 27-year-old. So very young, eight victims who are no longer with us. Wow. Um, Yes. Yes. So no one knew, of course, when they let their loved ones go to this concert, that they would not be coming home. Um, Wow. It's very tragic. It is very tragic. So all the more reason why it's important. You, You said, what is it that's most important? It's being able to share time and 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 love on the folks that are most important to us and not be worried about other things that consume our time and our energy unnecessarily you know i had a conversation with one of the celebrities that i work with and i said listen you are in your zone Mm -hmm. because you are in your zone doing everything that you ever dreamed of. And God has given you. Now other people outside of your zone are asking you to do things that are less than your position. you got to be very careful. Some of you have asked and prayed for God to help you with your own business, but now somebody wants you to come work for them. Some people have asked and prayed for God to buy you your own home, but somebody's telling you about somebody in foreclosure. Some Somebody has asked for God to help you with your enterprise, your children, whatever, but somebody else is showing you something different. And that something different is tempting. But Jesus taught us about temptation because Jesus was tempted by Satan himself. And Jesus rebuked yes. the temptation. And so I just think right now, Diane, I really think I cannot wait until we completely open up because we have not completely opened up. You came to my birthday party. I love you so much for that. It was such a wonderful time. Yes. Wasn't it great? We all had a good time. Yes. It was so wonderful. You came to MC Light's birthday party. Now, you know, that was off yes. the chain. <laughs> 
Ebony tore it up. We had fellowship time, and then we just had, mm -hmm. but we still, we not open completely because we have to put, a, right. uh, you know, I had people who said, well, Lynn, I'm not vaccinated, but can, I'm COVID. No, you, th these are the rules for this event. Mm -hmm. And I'm not expressing anything untoward towards people who have chosen not to get vaccinated. If that's your choice, God bless you. And Thank you for your choice for standing. But for the position that I'm in, I had to follow certain protocols and so on and so forth. And that's what I chose. And just like I respect you, I expect you to respect me. But we right. got together. And, and I'm going to tell you, Diane, I had people who said, well, these were powerful people. Well, I'm not vaccinated. Can I come? The answer was no. You can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I told 30 other people that this was a vaccinated event, and that's just it. That's what it is. And right. so this whole thing about beyond 2020, it's about truth. Whatever your truth is, it's about protocol. I'm telling everybody wear a mask, whether you're vaccinated or not, and so on and so forth. So, you know, lives are being lost, but lives are also being won. Why don't you tell us how our listeners can reach you for a consultation? First, tell us what you do. What can you help them do? And how can they reach you for a consultation? Absolutely. So I give financial literacy coaching and counseling. So I help you to get your money right and get out of whatever the bad situation is. If it's living above your means, if it's needing multiple streams of income, um, if it's getting money tax free, I will help you and get a pathway set up for you that's strictly just customized to what your need is. I also work with folks to get them uh, insurance so that we can set them up with generational wealth for protection while they're living and after they pass. Um, also able to help folks with their career decisions as a part of the multiple streams of income. I'm very passionate about those folks who, who choose to work and also have uh, their own business. So we can set up a consultation to go over what your need is. I can be reached at dianebowdery.com and we can schedule 30 minutes to see what the need is and then we can schedule time after that for one-on-one -on -one coaching to go through a specific pathway that's going to get you where you want to go. Let me tell you something, y'all. You want to get to the next level in life? You can't get there without a coach. You know, I thought I was the goose that laid the golden egg. I could not get there without a coach. <laughs> yes, I'm telling you the truth. Child, I thought I was it. I thought when God made me, he stopped. Child, please. That was the beginning of my demise. <laughs> Because God is real, he is awesome, omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, and he is God all by himself. Yes. And that did not mean God plus Lynn Richardson. So I had to realize I had to get coaching. And then I had to realize when I was in the presence of greatness. And I had to, now, I don't sell my soul to nobody. But I do acknowledge when I am in a space when I can learn. Can you learn? I want you to go to www.dianebowdery.com, D-I-A-N-N-E-B-O-W-A-R-D-Y.com, and I want you to get help. And as always, and uh -huh, go on. We got 10 I, seconds. If I, mm -hmm. could, if I could just um, say that again, it's D I A N N E. B-O-W-D-A-R-Y dot com. Okay, got it. We've corrected the spelling. B-O-W-D-A-R-Y dot com. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. I love you yes. all. Thank you so much, Diane. We look forward to Thank having you, you back. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. Oh, yes. I want to get you back again and again and again and again. Everybody, go and listen to this show at Lynn Millionaire. Go to LynnMillionaire.com. If you go to Lynn's List, you're going to find Diane Bowdery there. 
We love you. Thank you so much. God bless you.